does it mean to be an American? Well, that's a relatively easy question to answer. I've been asked it multiple times before. My contention is that what makes America so distinct from the various countries of the rest of the world is that we are granted our human rights, such as freedom, liberty, justice, which is really something. Well, yeah, and not to mention that all of those rights, including the notion of being born equal, are pursued and valued in economic standing. You see, at a most general level, what makes America great is that it values the individual as the substance of the nation. It strives for political voice, and its citizens so eagerly stand behind the causes that captivate them. Exactly, and so all those rights are raised to such a level of importance that, that they've died for. I mean, to be, in part of, to be American is to be a part of something so huge and so genuinely interested to the benefit of everyone, uh, which includes me. I mean, it is astounding how significant. Well, uh, oh, absolutely. Well, on a general level, one can become American by either being born or attaining citizenship. It is definitely the way of the American, so resolutely by the principles of America, which includes ideologies like pursuing liberty for the purpose of being free and willing to die for that liberty. That makes America such an exceptional and unique country. I mean, America still only stand for these principles, but obviously their respective principles because they have the freedom to do so, and the further it defines America as such a unique nation in the world. Well, I think they're just a bunch of bickering white intelligent people. As for the American public, I think they are to identify themselves as being American, and they ought to love their fellow countrymen while celebrating diversity and respecting their fellow men's beliefs. I mean, to put it simply, you're an idiot, you know that? There's a perfectly fine, fully functioning pair of scissors hey, right hey, here. Hey, who's he talking to? They, they just don't understand the concept of freedom, man. What it is. Well, I think we Americans ought to do something hey, completely. Shut up, you know that? You don't go to some hydraulic fluid or something, okay? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, Mr. Sanin, as I was saying, I think what makes someone universally an American is an adherence to an almost sacred body of text, the Declaration of Independence, you know? We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, and the American Constitution. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union and secure the blessing of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Even things like the President's speeches, you know, um, four score and seven years ago, our fathers set forth in this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. It may even include other things, like the Pledge of Allegiance or the National Anthem. We probably disagree about what these documents mean, but I hope that they're the foundation for Americans' culture, our government, and our morals. Well, that's great! Yes, and while all that is very true, the citizens of today's America are sadly but most assuredly characterized as loud, arrogant, demanding, and having an air of exceptional impertinence when it comes to dealing with other cultures. I mean, it's quite obvious that we aren't looked too highly upon. Oh, and on top of that, we are consumeristic beyond- Consumeristic isn't even a real word! Yes it is, and what's equally existent is that ever in fact that we as Americans are in actuality play with the mindset centered about consumerism, materialism, and worst of all, the horrible menace that is individualism as the Tocqueville describes it. But what I wish to focus on is while these attributes are undebatably constituted of the modern American, they're not the ideologies that a true American should uphold. For to be a true American is to be a part of the greatest human experiment of all time. It's to be a part of people who have gathered together under the notion that all men are created equal, retaining the right to pursue their inherent right as human beings. And that it is that is an exceptional distinction which makes us unique from almost all the European countries, because here in America we are born equal with equal freedom to pursue our respective rights, whereas in Europe, one ends up equal, which restricts their pursuit of the aforesaid rights. I mean, not to about on further, but to be American is essentially to stand for democracy, to pursue liberty, for the purpose of assuring that America and her beautiful way of living continue, even to the point of defending it with your life. At least, that's, that's, that's what I think. As I was saying, the modern American is completely handicapped by its infatuation with consumerism, by how it is so easily swayed by the unfailingly raunchy media, and through how it is suffering a spiritual oppression in the area of sexual temptation, as well as the entitlement complexes of many Americans. Quite sadly, we are a fallen country, but it's not due to starvation, it's due to heart failure. It's due to the fact that we've grown fat off the success of our fathers, and that our heart attack has so swiftly killed virtue and proper sentiment. 
today, to be American is to be an extremely best product, product of an unprecedented period of freedom. And to be American is to be in desperate need of salvation from the pit of the small and the superfluous. You know, I don't even see why we're trying to answer this question. It's pretty straightforward that being an American means first being a citizen of America. Oh really? I didn't know that! <laughs> Shut up! As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, to be American means to value liberty and equality. It means to partake in and value the history of America. It means loving justice as exemplified by the system of the Supreme Court. It means respecting the governing authorities but not allowing them to overstep their bounds. It means standing for morality in this world. Ha! I did it! It's open! To be an American means to have a duty to your country and to protect the rights and freedom that you're entitled to. Such rights include life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In order to make a more perfect union, we Americans have pledged to each other our lives, fortunes, and honor. In being a citizen of America, you must take an active part in society and government. One has freedom, but one must also have virtue in serving to help supporting the country. And how can we trust this guy's opinion, whoever he is? I mean, who is he really? Oh, and why is your opinion so superior to ours, hmm? No, no, I'm out. No. I'm sorry. I'm not with y'all. I'm not doing this. I'm gonna go pee behind the street.